In this problem, we're told a cheetah can accelerate from rest to a speed of 30 meters per second in seven seconds. What is its acceleration? So the first thing you always wanna do when solving these problems is to draw what's going on. So we have this cheetah and it's gonna be at rest. And that means its velocity is gonna be equal to zero. And then it's gonna travel for seven seconds. And then it's going to reach a speed of 30 meters per second. So what you wanna do next is always write down what you're given. So what you, what you wanna write down is the kinematic variables you're given. And so there are five kinematic variables, right? And if you look at the equation on the right, these are kinematic equations. And the kinematic variables are just the variables in these equations. So you just want to write them out, which are v, v sub 0, a, t, and delta x. And so you just want to write, uh, write out whether or not you're given them. Right, so let's start with v. So we are given the final velocity. So this is called v or v final. Right, you can write v or v final, whatever you want to do. But we know the velocity at the end of our interval is 30 meters per second. So you want to write 30 meters per second. And then v sub 0 is the initial velocity, or the speed in the beginning of the interval. And we're told that it's going to be starting from rest. So we know the initial velocity, v sub 0, is 0 meters per second. The acceleration is what we're trying to solve for. So I'm just going to say a equals question mark. And then the time, how long it takes this interval, is 7 seconds. So we know t equals 7 seconds. And then delta x is just the change in position or how far it travels. And we don't know that. So we're just going to say question mark, but we're not going to need it to solve the problem. So what we're trying to do is find the acceleration. And so we're going to be using one of these kinematic equations here. And we want to choose the one based off the information we're given. So we're given v, v sub 0, and t. And if you look at the equation here, uh, the one we're going to use is 1, right? So notice 2 through 4 all contain delta x, which we're not given. So we're not going to use that. And then the one at the top, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. Notice we have v, right? We have v sub 0, and we have t. And so we can solve for a since it's the only variable left. So all you want to do is just plug it in. So v is 30 equals v sub 0, which is 0 plus a and multiply by t. So t is just going to be 7. So you just want to multiply by 7. So this is this whole side is just going to become 7a. So 30 equals 7a and then divide by 7. So you want to plug in your calculator 30 divided by 7. And when you do that you're going to get a equals 4.28 and then the units for acceleration we measure in meters per second squared. So keep in mind this right here was meters per second and then you're dividing by seconds. So it becomes meters per second squared. Right, so 4.28 meters per second squared, you can round to 4.3. Just make sure you do it how your teacher wants you to do it. But yeah, so essentially this is going to be your answer. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.